my opinion, if you're gonna do that, at least three and five is gonna run it. Yeah. yeah, but if they're gonna do that, then what the hell is the point of giving everybody money? See, that's what I don't understand. Yeah, because if you're gonna give everybody money, you're gonna there's there, you're gonna devalue the homes, and if you make the prices higher, I mean it's only that would be an okay fix because then nobody could buy cars and tanks and stuff like that. But I don't know. Can any of you explain anything about the actual economy? Supply, basic supply and demand. That's all I've got. Why is the government on shutdown? At oh, 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 you mean real life? Uh, yeah, real life, you fucking 14 year old. I think it's kind of ridiculous that the Republicans take take this stance that if they can't have what they want, then nobody gets what they want. Um, I mean, that's all I've got to say about that, pretty much. Just based I think on that, you know more than three quarters of the people that play Grand Theft Auto, so. Yeah, I mean. My shit talking stops here. Okay. I mean, I, I do. I mean, I know a little bit more than that. I know that. The ridiculous part is that the Republicans act like this is not approved yet. The fact is, this is already a law. There is no debating like, oh, this is nonsense, or oh, this is this is unconstitutional. The Supreme Court already ruled the o Obamacare, quote unquote, constitutional, and it's already a law. So why can't the people vote though? I mean, they people vote for their congressmen, and believe me, after this. The Republicans just want to get out because at this point their approval ratings are plummeting. It's the lowest they've ever seen approval ratings for Republican congressmen. And more people are calling for not just the Republicans to be gone, but for a third party to emerge. This is this is the highest people have ever seen a demand for a third party to emerge. Pop music from the eighties, nineties, noughties, and today. I think that's really interesting. I don't know what conversation I stumbled in on, but I like it. <laughs> Probably the most intellectual conversation that has happened in a GTA game. But that's not saying much. And the only reason I started this conversation is so the flirt meter would go up on a stripper. A little bit of British <laughs> West End girls buy the pet shop. Oh, wow, I had an apartment to do that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to be the douchebag who just sits here for 10 minutes and blows air into his mic and pisses every single human being off. If you had no other reason aside from just wanting to talk about politics, I would have been mad. But the fact that you just said that about the stripper, that's the reason why you're talking, makes it all okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't want to be, I don't want to piss everybody off and just they have to find out who I am so they can mute me, but I tried, oh, I tried I, to bring I up, I appreciate that. I tried to bring up <laughs> the most con, the most controversial issue I could so I know people would say something. I bet you the strippers loved it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, they're losing their shit. <laughs> they would have bitch slapped by now. <laughs>